Hello my friends, I'm your host Tim and today we have a channel update slash quick unboxing video. 2020 was bad for a lot of us, right? It was, it was a year. But now that year is finally, finally almost over for us. So let's stay hopeful for 2021. I know I am. I have a lot of stuff planned that I hope to do that had to be pushed back and just canceled last year. Like hopefully a new Japan trip that I had to cancel three times last year, unfortunately. I also hope anime conventions come back because that was my first year in like 10 years of not going to an anime convention and that really bummed me out quite a lot. So please, let's keep our fingers crossed that next year, 2021, is better than what this crazy year has been. Now I want to talk about new video series coming in the new year, 2021. Hopefully it's a lot better and hopefully I can get back to making videos somewhat routinely again, at least maybe a couple of months. Some new video series that I have planned are uh, Learning Japanese Journey videos, which is going to be a series of videos that I'm hoping to put out one video per month, showing my progress in learning Japanese, figuring out what works, what doesn't work. And hopefully by the end of the year, I'm really hoping I can pass the JLPT N4 exam in December. So I hope you'll come along with me on my journey as I learn Japanese, because I figure I've been to Japan twice already, completely alone. And I was able to get around fine, but I think I would enjoy Japan a lot more if I was able to read signs, communicate with people, and understand the language more. Because I do have plans for Japan in the future. Not just visiting, but I would like to attend language school there at some point, maybe two or three years down the line. On that note, I also have some Japan trips planned for next year. I'm really hoping tourism opens back up in the spring, that way maybe I can go to Japan in June or July. I'm hopefully planning a three-week trip at that time. I have a friend that's wanting to go with me and I'm going to show him around and stuff, but I'm really hoping I can go in June or July. I would also really like to go in a different season other than summer because I always go to Japan in summer and I would like to experience it in spring or fall or winter. I would really love to go in spring in next year, but that's just not happening. It, Japan is not opening for tourism anytime soon. Right now it says online maybe around eight, late April, May, and if that holds true, maybe I can go in June or July. And then I would love to go again in like October or November. I would really love for my dad to be able to go with me, but that way I can show him the beautiful country that is Japan. But again, we'll have to see how 2021 goes and let's hope it's better than what this year has been. Now for unboxing videos, I'm going to start doing unboxing videos whenever it's a substantial package, a package that has quite a bit in it. I'm usually not going to worry about it if it's just one or a few items. I'm not going to worry about making a whole video on that. But if it's like a whole series or a substantial amount, then I'm going to start trying to do unboxing videos whenever they arrive. So you can expect those throughout the months as the year rolls on. I'm also going to be doing collection updates every month. I really hope I can stick to that schedule. Showing everything that I bought the month prior around the first week of each month. So that's the plans for the channel moving forward into the new year. A couple of new video series that I hope to have. I also hope to do more of a vlog series while I'm in Japan as my trips go on. I hope to do more vlogging and actually put effort into the videos instead of just selfie cam stuff and actually put effort into making it a decent vlog. Unfortunately, the One Piece uh, amusement park in Tokyo Tower it closed down this year, so I'm really bummed that I didn't get to do a proper video on that while it was still around. But the memories of when I got to visit in 2018 will always be with me and I will always cherish those memories of how amazing that place was. So let's get on with the unboxing part of this video. First up we have a single manga volume series. Um, I don't recall the name off the top of my head. I actually have a number of packages that have been just stuck in limbo coming in from the USPS. It's been super slow this, uh, this December. Now this is actually a manga series that I didn't even know that Viz released until I actually bought it and I found it on eBay. But it's All My Darling Daughters, which is by Fumi Yoshinaga. And I believe that she is currently doing, or maybe it already ended in Japan and the rest of the volumes are coming out here, but I believe she also does a series by Viz called Oku, which I do plan to buy sometime in hopefully the new year. But anyway, this is one of those obscure one volume manga series from Viz that probably not many people have. I'm sure it didn't sell well. It's one of the Viz signatures, so it's one of the more expensive ones. And I'm happy to have it in my collection now. Okay, this next series, again, I don't remember the name to it. I have an idea of which uh, manga series that came in because I've actually bought a few and still am waiting for some of the newer ones to come in. And no idea when that will be because they're still stuck in limbo just like these were. This one was incredibly well packaged. I'd love to see that. Anyway, we have Tokyo Boys and Girls, which is by Miki Aihara, and she is the creator of Hot Gimmick, another series that I own all of. 
I believe this is the full series. Don't hold me to that. Off the top of my head, I don't really remember. I just know I've been really wanting to get more into Shoujo series, so I've been, whenever I find them on eBay for a decent price, and the full series, I usually try to buy them all up. Anyway, new Shoujo series to read. We have Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, and Volume 5. I believe this is the full series. Anyway, I really like her style, the way she does her covers, and the way she draws her characters. I just really, I like the aesthetic of it. But anyway, that does it for the unboxing part of this video. I'm happy to own these new Jojo series in my collection. And I hope to see you in the new year with many more videos coming to this channel. So I will see you in the next one. Later.